Nick. I stayed quiet during the short ride to Tony's estate. There's no point in trying to argue with the devil himself. My buddy's a great boss and all, but his temper and foul mouth has caused us to bump heads on many occasions. After our hectic trip to New York, the only thing I wanted to do was grab a cold brew, chill out, and probably throw a few steaks on the grill. My cell phone dinged. I pulled up our security team's comms. Team lead, there's been a lot of activity near the southern gate of the property, end message. Unfamiliar faces in an unoccupied Hartley property for the last two weeks, end message. No details, end message. I nudged Tim and showed him the comms. He grunted and shrugged, leaving me to relay the news to Tony. Hi, boss. Looks like we have some movement in Keith's old place. You want us to check it out? Tony looked at me, half-cocked. I don't remember him ever listing the place for sale, do you? He looked at us. We both shook our heads in denial. I rubbed the back of my sunburnt neck, thinking hard. That's not how Keith operates. He would never part with his parents' place, without good reason, so something's definitely going on. Tony brushed his finger over his nose, then huffed in agreement. Let's just watch silently for now. If Keith needs us, he'll let us know. No reason to get our hands messy. If our movement isn't warranted. By the time we pulled up to the security gate, it was mid-afternoon. We all agreed to meet in the upstairs rec room after we freshened up and unpacked. I was fucking starving in more ways than one. I'd worked up quite an appetite after getting sucked off on the plane ride home. That filly was nothing spectacular. We rolled in the hay with her a few times before, but a good lay, willing to bet us all, were few and far in between.